So H1 have now released their latest smartphone gimbal. It's the follow up to their very popular Smart X Pro. This is the new AI version, and I'm really excited to showcase some of the various different features that this now incorporates. This also comes with a wireless remote control to actually control the gimbal itself. Let's go ahead and check out what the gimbal looks like and how it performs, all of the new AI features, and we'll also take a look at some shots that I've taken with the new upgraded stabilization and anti-shake technology in the gimbal. So let's get into it. So here's the gimbal. For the most part, this actually has the same design as the Smart X Pro. There is a couple of additional features which I'm going to talk through, but just in case you haven't seen the original Smart X Pro, I'll just give you a quick run through. You have yourself the OLED digital display there. We will turn this on and showcase how you see all of the modes. You have the joystick, the shutter button, the power button. You have a manual focus wheel there, zoom control, telephoto and wide angle, USB-C charging port, and you also have a tripod that you clip on with the quarter 20 inch thread. This also has a removable battery plate as well via magnet. So in case you wanted to get additional battery life, then you can also purchase another battery and replace it in there. The mounting plate also doubles up as a wireless charger as well. So you can actually charge your phone whilst you're using the gimbal to get much longer extended battery life. And on the back of the arm, you also have a LED ring light as well, which will cycle through three different brightness levels of the LED, which I will also showcase. This new AI gesture controlled attachment. This is also via magnet, so you can position it either both ways. This has a power button to turn it on and a mode button just there along the top. When you do turn it on, you'll see it gives a blue indicator and then you can start doing various different gestures to start tracking you via the gimbal. Now I will showcase this as well and this is very convenient as well because you don't need to rely on the actual app. You can just use this natively with your own camera app on your phone and it will just control anything that you make the gestures with via the gimbal and it's not app dependent. And the magnet is actually pretty strong. Just clip it on there and you're ready to go. Even if you want to position it on the other side, it's easy to do that. You can face it any way you like. So whatever works for you when you are doing your filming, that is going to be very convenient. Now, not only did they introduce this with the AI model, this also comes with a gimbal smart remote control. Now, again, this is going to be very convenient for people that shoot by themselves and they just want to be able to control the gimbal at a further distance. You have your directional arrows there to control the joystick. You have the mode button to change the mode. Then you have the shutter button to start taking photos or videos. And then you have the on off toggle there just to turn that remote control on and it's paired instantly the first time you turn this on with the gimbal. So let's go ahead and put all of this together and showcase some of the modes, the buttons, the features, the functions, and more importantly, the AI gestures with this new module. Okay, so I've powered the gimbal on. I've got the attachment at the top. Let's go ahead and open the app. Now you may be familiar with the app as well. It's very popular. It's been used many times with the Aoshuan gimbals. And this works great if you wanna create some really cool cinematic shots. I won't dive too much into the app because it is exactly the same as you may have seen for the previous models. You can go from video photo, panorama. You have the Hitchcock mode, which is a dolly zoom mode. You have inception. You can do an ultra widescreen movie mode. And you also have something called moves that can cycle through various different automated templates with little soundtracks built into them. And I will take some shots with this as well, just to see how they work. But let's just go ahead and showcase how the remote control works because out of the box, this is actually paired. So you can use this as a joystick. You can see it's actually very responsive, very fluid. Now, if you wanted to use gesture tracking, you can still do that via the app. This includes five different gestures. Now you can do the fist, the palm, the okay gesture, two thumbs up and two L shapes. But I'm going to showcase more how you can use the gestures, which only contain only three gestures on the main attachment at the top there. You can also recenter the gimbal by double pressing the mode button on the remote control. And it works very quick, very smooth. So just some quick controls about the screen here. Of course, with the joystick, you can move that around manually. If you press once, this changes the mode. So you have pan, follow, follow, locked, POV. When you triple press this, it will go into inception mode. With the shoot button, obviously that will start recording on a single click. If you double press that, it will switch to portrait mode, which is very convenient. Double press and it will go back into landscape. And if you long press this, it will enable the wireless charging. With the power button, of course, if you hold it down, it turns the gimbal on and off, but this is also used to turn on the fill lights. If you press it once, the light will turn on. So I'm just going to turn this around and press the button so you can see the fill light. 
there's one press, two press, and three press. It may be a little bit difficult to see on the camera, but each press it becomes brighter and brighter, and on the fourth press it turns off. So that's a very convenient thing to have. Now with the remote control, if you long press the mode button in the middle, this will actually start zooming in, and this needs to be used in conjunction with the app, and you can see that is also very convenient if you just wanted to get a closer up shot of whatever you're filming. However, to zoom back out, you'd have to use the button on the side of the gimbal. Now let's go ahead and turn on the AI tracking. And let's show you some of the gestures and how this works. So for the AI gesture tracking using the little module, I'm going to come out of the app and I'm just going to use the native camera on my iPhone to showcase that you don't actually need to use the app when you do have this magnetic attachment for the AI gestures at the top. So it's very simple. You do the OK gesture. The light has gone green and this will start tracking you very easily. To stop the tracking, you do the OK gesture again and you can see the light has gone blue and it's no longer tracking me. In addition to that, if you want to start the video recording, then you just need to hold up your palm and you got the white light that's flashing and you can see this has started the recording on my native iPhone app. Again, to stop the recording, just hold up your palm. You got that three second timer with the white light flashing and it stopped. This also works with taking photos, so that is a very convenient thing. But if you want to shoot some reels for TikTok or Instagram, then you want to switch it to portrait mode. You just give two thumbs up and look how quick and easy that was. Again, if you want to go back to landscape, quick two thumbs up and you're ready to go. So for me, the, the AI gestures have been very fast, very responsive, and I think that just works great. So let's just take a quick sample video using the gestures by me walking around the room and seeing how well that works. So I will turn this on and I will start recording. And actually that works well with all distances. I've tested this outdoors as well. And in terms of like how fast I move, the tracking has been able to really keep up with me. So this is really great if you wanna use this for like sports events or anything like that. I think it's going to be a very convenient thing to have if you just place this down maybe on a larger tripod or on maybe a bench or something outdoors. This is a very convenient and a very nice upgrade which we're now starting to see on a lot of smartphone gimbals heading into this direction with this new trend of AI tracking using a little magnetic attachment at the top. So let's stop the recording. And that's it, as simple as that. So that has been great. So now let's go ahead and take a look at a montage of some clips that I've taken using the gimbal because I wanted to also test out how smooth the new updated anti-shake technology is now and also just bring you some really nice shots and showcase that this is actually a very good gimbal to use when you do want to record very stable footage outdoors. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those clips that I've recorded using some of the modes with the Altron app and also with my native camera app on my iPhone. And hopefully that gives you a good idea of how smooth of a footage you can get with the Smart X Pro AI.
So there you have it, that's the brand new gimbal from Altron and I'm really impressed with this and I can't really find any faults with it. It's a very nice upgrade from their previous models. So if you are interested in buying this or learning more information and just checking out all of the key specs and features, make sure to hit the link in the description and also find out the latest pricing information. They may have some introductory or launch pricing or they may have discounts running seasonally from time to time. So always make sure to check it out and get yourself a very nice gimbal for your filming. As always, any questions you have about this, then drop them down below. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. I have all new tech reviews coming out all the time, especially when it comes to really cool smartphone gimbals and a whole bunch of tech, which I know you're going to like, and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.